Reyna, and today we are going to do a full body Pilates reformer class. And I'm so excited that I'm going to be teaching half of the class, and then Reyna will also be teaching. So we're going to show a little mixture of classical versus athletic progressive Pilates. So let's start today with the reformers on three red and a blue spring. So grab the springs, place them on. Lie onto your back, and we're gonna just set up with a little bit of footwork for our warm up. So, heels on wide, feet and knees are turned out, hands are down, palms are up. Take a deep inhale through your nose, and exhale, push out evenly into both feet. Inhale, pull back in slow. As you push out, make sure you keep the spine long, and we're working in a neutral pelvis. And as you push out, feel your inner thighs engage. Feel the pelvic floor and lower abdominals fire on. And focus on pressing all of the energy from the heels out through the crown of the head to get long in the stretch. And then pull back into center with control. We're here for three. Exhale, two. One more time, push it out. Now internally rotate the feet and knees and bring the carriage in. And then externally rotate and push out. In to come in, out to go out, feeling the femur bone fluidly rotating throughout the hip joint. That way we get a deep stretch in the legs and into the hips. In to come in, out to go out. We're here for three. Breathing with the movement for two. Releasing the SI joints, one, keep it wide. Come in halfway, let's pulse. Two to three inches out, two to three inches in. Pushing from the tail, not from the knees. And try to feel the core tighten with each pulse for three, two, one. Push all the way out, come all the way in. Keep it wide and slide it to the toes. Lift the heels up high. Still working in an external rotation. Exhale, you lengthen and inhale, bend. The goal is to push firmly into the big toe and second toe. As you keep the heels lifted up about four to five inches, so we work towards strengthening the calves. And then feel the outer thigh muscles wrap around the back of the legs and lift up toward the glutes. We get that big hip opener as we warm up and stretch out the legs for everything else we're gonna do today. The point of footwork is to also work the alignment of the joints as we get the blood pumping and start to warm up every muscle in the body. We're here for three. Exhale, two. One more time, take it out, go to a wide prance. Bend one knee, stretch the opposite heel deeply down underneath the foot bar. So we get that stretch in the calves, into those Achilles tendons and all the way up into the hamstrings. And then just be mindful of the fact that you don't want your hips to rock at all. So we wanna stabilize the pelvis and hips. And the goal is to push one of the heels a little bit further underneath the foot bar each time. That way we create a little more length in the back of the leg. We're here for three, two, one, lift up, bend all the way in. Now heels together, toes apart in a V. Narrow the knees so they're only about as wide as the shoulders. Exhale, you push out with length. Inhale, pull in slow. As you push out, feel your hip bones narrowing towards each other. And as you pull back to center, feel the sits bones widen. And the goal is to never let your heels separate. Lengthen and resist. Push from the tail. Close the ribs. Continue reaching long through the fingertips so we keep the tension out of the shoulders and neck. Bend and press. We're here for three. Exhale, two. One more time. Come in halfway, take little pulses. Push from the tail, not from the knees. Keep squeezing your core. Two to three inches out. Two to three inches in. We're here for three, two, one. Push all the way out. Come all the way in. And now parallel the feet on the toes. Lift the heels up high. Push the carriage out. Drop the heels down, lift the heels up, bend the knees, come in. Now we drop for two, you take it out and you drop, lift, drop, lift, bend and come in. Three drops, we lengthen, drop for three, two, one, lift them up, bend, come in. 
four drops, lengthen out, we drop for four. Three, two, one, lift them up, bend. Come in five drops, take it out, drop for five. Four, three, two, one, lift them high, bend. Come in six drops, take it out, we drop six. Five, four, three, two, one, lift them up, bend. And last set, we go for seven. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it down on one, start to prance. Bend one knee, stretch the opposite heel down underneath the foot bar, getting that deep calf stretch. And now as you prance, can you also tuck your tail and curl the hips up so that your hips are hovering up off the mat so we get a little bit more glute activation as you prance, good. Bend and press, feel those calves, keep squeezing your corn butt for five, four, three, two, and done. Drop the hips, bend the knees, come all the way in. Heels on, feet parallel, ankles are flexed. Last set, take a deep inhale and exhale out. Inhale, and here you wanna make sure that the hips, knees, and ankles are all in one straight line. And I like to press the balls of the feet out away from the center of the body as you pull the middle toes straight back toward the knees working perfect alignment in the joints. And then as you push out, feel your quads engage and lift. Feel the hamstrings and glutes. And remember, your core is still tight the whole time. We're here for three and for two and one. Come on in, hug the knees up to the chest. Gently rock side to side massaging out the low back, and then come on up and adjust the weight so that you have one red, one blue spring on the reformer, and lie on down for pelvic lift. So heels on, feet parallel, push firmly into the hands, tuck the tail, scoop the belly, curl the hips up, push the carriage all the way out, pull it back to center, roll down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, tuck the tail, scoop the belly, lift the hips up, push it out, drag it in and articulate the spine down slow. At the bottom, create space between the low back and the mat. And then on the exhale, eliminate the space, imprint the low back to tuck the tail and lift. And then push it out, drag it back in and roll it down with control. Go ahead, inhale and exhale, tuck, lift, push it out drag it in and pull it back down with control. We have six more all the way up, out, in, and roll it down. Staying even across the pelvis and hips the whole time that you move. And then when the hips are lifted, making sure that there's a long line of energy from the forehead out to the knees. And roll it down, upper back, mid back, low back connects, exhale up. Inhale, out, exhale, in, inhale, roll it back down. One more time, we're gonna tuck and lift and stay up and just push out, pull it in. Exhale, inhale, breathing. We have eight more. Abs are tight, slight tuck of the tail to take the pressure out of the low back. Last three, and for two, one more time, come back in little pulses with the hips up and down, up and down, squeeze, release, stay with it, tiny pulses here. Just for three, two, done, roll all the way down, hug the knees up, and grab the straps behind you. Supine arms and core is next. You can hold the bigger loops for less tension, the smaller loops for more. Knees are at tabletop, arms straight up above the shoulders. We're staying on a red and a blue spring. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, curl up, extend the legs out, point the toes. Inhale, lower back down slow. Exhale, lift from the chest and from engaging the core, reach everything out. Inhale, lower. Try to get all the way up off those shoulder blades each time. Try to deepen that core activation. And if it's too much pressure on your low back or your neck, go ahead and keep the knees bent or keep your head down. Otherwise, that full expression of movement is curling up, extending everything out, 
And then lowering back down with control. Three more. Exhale. Inhale. Last two. We go up. And down, one more time, lift up, stay up, big scissor kicks with the legs, one leg up, one leg down, point the toes. Now as the legs go up and down, can we also move the arms out and in? So we're hollowing out the armpits, squeezing into the lats to pull the hands to center. The low back stays flat and connected to the mat. Open the arms and legs, scissor kick the legs as you open the arms out and in, five. Four, three, two, and one. Lower down, bend the elbows, bend the knees, coming into coordination. So you hover the elbows two inches off the mat. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, curl up, extend the arms and legs straight out. Open the legs, close the legs, bend the knees, and then lower the head and bend the elbows. Curl up, press. Open, close, bend the knees, Lower down, curl up, press, open, close, bend the knees, lower down. We have three more. We go up, open, close, bend the knees, and lower, last two. Up, open, close, bend the knees, and lower. One more time, up, open, close, bend the knees, lower down. Reach your arms up, curl up, frame the right knee, extend the left leg out, then lower down, alternate. Curl up, frame the left leg. Lower down, so one hand comes in between the legs and one hand goes outside the bent knee. Take a little static hold at the top before you lower slow. Exhale, lift, hold. Inhale, lower with control. Exhale, lift, hold. Inhale, lower. We're here for five. Down, you're doing great, feel the obliques, four. Exhale, three, maybe lifting a little higher each time. Two, on this last one, we're gonna hold it up and start to pulse two to three inches forward, two to three inches back. Squeeze and release, release and squeeze just for three, two, and one. Other side, curl up, frame the right leg and little pulses, two to three inches forward, two to three inches back, squeeze and release. Stay with it just for three, two, and done, lower down. Awesome work. Drop the straps, come on up for flat back knee stretch. So your hands go onto the foot bar, two straight arms, right foot on the floor, left foot against the shoulder block. Micro bend the right leg, keep the left knee up, keep the tail long, push, pull, it's quick. Push, pull, push, pull. Good, stabilizing your whole body. So it's just the carriage leg and the carriage that are moving. And the core is tight and we're staying even across the shoulders and hips. We're here for four, three, two, and one into round back. So tilt the tail, scoop the belly, pull the carriage in, push out, pull in. Don't change the position of your spine. Instead, get that deep flexion in the lumbar spine, tilt the tail, and get that deep abdominal engagement as you pull in. Yes, out, pull. Out, pull. We're here for three, five, two, oh, one. Other side. So now the left foot is on the floor, right foot against the shoulder block. Push into the hands, stabilize your whole body. Push and pull. Exhale. Inhale, breathing. Feel the glute engage and lift up to the low back. Each time you extend that leg, and then as you pull in, make sure to resist and don't let you co yourself compromise at the hips. Three, two, one. Tilt the tail, scoop the belly, pull in, push out. Get that deep abdominal activation and pull. Press, pull, stabilize the left side. Continue pushing firmly into the hands. Exhale, inhale, breathing. We're here for four, three, two, and one. Now both knees go on for double flat back knee stretch. Booty to the heels, straighten the arms. We do that same thing. You push, pull while keeping the spine nice and long. Exhale, inhale. And notice a really deep stretch in the low back. So we're creating space around the sacrum as the knees draw underneath the chest. Stretching those lumbopelvic stabilizers and opening up the low back five. 
strengthening our hips all at the same time. Four, three, two, and one into our round back. So scoop the belly, tilt the tail, take it out of the shoulders. So see how the carriage is almost all the way in there? Now imagine there's a beach ball being pushed up into the belly, press, contract. Rounding the lower half of the body good over the beach ball. Pull, press, get that deep scoop in the core. Eight, yeah, good. Seven, push, pull. Six, exhale. Five, four, three, two, one more time and bring it in for jackrabbit. So push into the hands, engage your core, take the knees up and push. Pull with a flat, long spine. Your neck is long, your eyes are focused about four to five inches in front of the foot bar and down. Keep squeezing your core, bring the knees all the way in, press it out for three, two, one more time, hold the plank. Push-ups here for five, bend, press. Four, bend, press. Three, two, one more time. Hips down, or hips up, heels down. Take the red, or take the blue spring off. So we just have one red spring on. Elephant stretch. Toes are lifted. Tuck your chin, look in between the inner thighs. Push out with the legs. Pull in with the core. Exhale out. Inhale in. And if you need to walk your feet a little more forward in order to keep the heels down, that's okay. I want you to focus on that stretch behind the legs. And then use the strength of the core to pull the carriage back in. Exhale out. Inhale, pull. Go ahead, breathe through it. The more you push into the heels, that deeper the stretch will be in the calves. Two more. One more time, push and pull. Take your right hand and grab the outside of the left ankle. Look underneath the left armpit, do that same thing, push and pull. You're gonna notice here a deeper stretch across the shoulders and upper back. And your range may not be as big and that's okay. Push and pull. Exhale and inhale, and maybe increase movement a little more each time for a deeper stretch. One more time. And switch, right hand on the foot bar, left hand grabs the outside of the right leg and we push and pull. Exhale and inhale, keeping both arms straight and keeping your gaze right underneath that right armpit the whole time and really push into the right hand so we keep that right arm extended and only push with the legs out. Then pull in with the core. Feel that deep stretch across the left shoulder and upper back. Three, two, and a one. Come on in and turn around. Have a seat on the foot bar for a tendon stretch. So your hands come onto the bar. The fingertips are forward. The palms are back. The first thing we're gonna do is just exhale and stand up, taking the forehead to the knees, and then inhale, sit back down. Exhale, stand up, forehead to the knees. Inhale, sit back down. We have eight more. So we go up and down, shooting that tail up toward the ceiling, getting those legs to fully extend and down. We got some noisy reformers. Usually we're not supposed to make noise, but these ones just definitely do. <laughs> Three. Two. One more time, we're gonna stay up in that fold and now push the carriage out. Booty comes forward, lift the hips, booty goes high. Lengthen, lift, exhale, inhale. Five, use your core, lift. Four, good job, three, two, one more time, and rest. <laughs> Let's go into Russian split. So your right foot comes forward, the left foot goes back, and we're gonna push out to a low runner's lunge. Now you can stay here, or to make it more advanced, 
Stand up, tee the arms out like airplane wings. Lift your heart, push the front leg out. Bend it in. Exhale, inhale, breathing. Eight, it helps to keep your eyes focused at one point in front of you. Keep that tail tucked, your heart lifted. Four, three, reach long through the hands. Two, and one. Now keep the front knee bent, bend the back knee in, push it out. Inhale, bend, exhale, lengthen. Getting that eccentric contraction in the left quad. And just keep that front knee bent to that 90 degree angle. Bend and press. Exhale and inhale. Four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands down to the shoulder blocks with two straight legs. Push out. I like to bring my hands down to the carriage to get deeper in the stretch. Then walk your hands up, bring the carriage in. Exhale, push out. Hands down, go into splits. Inhale, walk it in, forehead to the knee. Exhale, push it out. Inhale, coming in left. Exhale out. Inhale up. Five more. Breathing through, maybe getting a little deeper each time. Last three. And for two. One more time, take it all the way down, hold it and breathe. 10 seconds here. Three, two, one, come back in, hands on the shoulder blocks, both feet back to a plank. Push the arms out, two inches lift the right leg up. Pull the arms and right leg down, left leg up, left leg down. So we're alternating each time, which leg lifts? One more time each side, right. Now left steps forward, stand up. Tee the arms out, get low in the lunge, front leg out, in. Exhale, inhale, chest open, shoulders down. Five, four, keep the back leg straight. Three, two, one. Now keep the front knee bent, bend the back knee in on the inhale, exhale, push. Inhale, bend, exhale, push. Six more. And five, press. Four, three, two, one more time, push it out. Hands come down, straighten the legs, lift the hips, bring the carriage in, push out through your splits. Lift the hips up, lower the hips down. Eight more. Exhale, inhale. Seven more, up, down. Six more, up and down. Good work, we're here for five, four, three, two, one more time. Take it all the way down, hold it here, breathe. 10 seconds, deep inhale, deep exhale, you got it. One more big inhale. Exhale, come back up, both hands on, feet step back, hike. Look at the toes. Plank, look past the head rest. Exhale up, inhale down, we have eight more. Seven more, up, down, six, five, four, three, two, one more time, up, down, and rest. Woo, awesome job. Amazing. Let's set up for some short box work. So grab your box, place it on short ways. If you're above five, six, bring the box behind the shoulder blocks. Otherwise it goes in front. I like to bring the foot bar down. And then let's add on two red springs. So we just want the reformer to be heavy so that the carriage is stable. Have a seat on the box. Bring both of your feet through the safety strap. If your hip flexors are super tight, keep your feet on the platform with the knees bent. Otherwise, if you wish 
to straighten the legs out is okay too. Hands behind the head, wide elbows. Inhale, lengthen the spine, sit up tall. Take a flat back hinge. Exhale, use your core and lift. Inhale, we go back. Exhale, lift up and lengthen with the flat long spine. Down, up, only going as far back as you can without compromising the spinal position, but it is okay to take a slight tuck of the tail to protect the low back. Inhale, exhale, four more. Squeeze into the inner thighs, last three, two, one more time down and up, grab opposite elbows, genie arms, round the spine, go into deep flexion and push your arms into the belly. Like you're crazy and you have a straight jacket on. Inhale, go back as far as you can. Exhale, bring forward with the flexed spine. Inhale, back, good. Exhale, forward. The shoulders stay away from the ears and you do keep a little golf ball size space between the chin and chest. Inhale, back. Exhale, forward. Three more. Last two. One more time, down and up. Now let's go to the right on the inhale and then exhale around and up on the left. Continue in that same direction. Inhale, over. Exhale, around and up. We have eight more. Keeping the flexion the whole time. Working spinal mobility and core strength. Down, around and up. Inhale and exhale. You're doing great, stay with it. We're here for five. Four. Three. And two. One more time. And let's take it the other way. Inhale to the left, exhale around and up on the right side. Inhale over, exhale around and lift. Keep it slow and controlled. Squeeze into the inner thighs. Focus on your breathing. You would think after 13 years of teaching Pilates, I'd have counting down, but no. <laughs> Never. Never. But counting is always off. So. I apologize, but just go, just move. <laughs> One more time, inhale over, exhale up. Hug the left knee up toward the chest. Inhale, lengthen the left leg out, reach your arms back. Exhale, circle around, pull the knee to the chest. Inhale, reach, exhale, contract. We have eight, pull like a single leg stretch, seven or a double leg stretch, six, five, pull. Four more, last three, and two. One more time, and lift hands behind the head, wide elbows. Inhale, lower down, extend that leg. Exhale, lift up, left elbow, right knee. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, rotate. Eight, seven, down, left. Six, up, five, and up. We're here for four. Three, two, one more, and up, turn. Face the left side. Hook that left foot underneath the right thigh to help stabilize the hips. Hands behind the head, wide elbows. Inhale, slowly lower into the well. Reach your right arm up, left foot arm forward, and then exhale, lift up to center and con uh, clap your hands. We're gonna inhale now and open the arms out as you go down. Then exhale, lift up and clap the hands. Inhale, we go down. Exhale, lift and lengthen slow. Working our obliques and strengthening the lateral flexion of the spine. Down and lift. Inhale, exhale. We're here for four, three, Two, one more time. Now take it back down, open out, rotate your right hand to the left, rotate the left hand out. 
back to center, open, lift up, close. So we go down, right hand touches the left, left arm reaches, close it, lift both arms together. Three more, down, rotate, up and lift, last two. Up and lift, one more time, down, clap, open, rotate, center, and a lift. Awesome work, other side. So hug that right knee up toward the chest. Inhale, extend the leg and the arms out. Pull everything in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, contract. Out and lift. Inhale, get low, lift, contract. Down and up. We're here for four, three, two, one more, and up, hands behind the head, wide elbows, inhale, lower the leg goes out, lift, rotate, left elbow, right knee, down, lift, contract, eight, up, seven, up, six more, five, four, three, two, one more, and rotate to the side, hands behind the head, Wide elbows, lower down into the well. Reach your right arm forward, left arm up. Lift up, clap the hands. Go down the arms open. Lift up the arms close. We have eight more. Inhale, exhale, get low and lift down. Lift, squeeze. Inhale, exhale. Six more. And five. Four. Three left, two, up. One more time, take it back down, left hand claps the right, right arm reaches, clap back, open, lift hands together. Rotate, airplane wings back, lift together. I made this one up last week when I was playing around on my reformer at home. I was like, oh, this is a really great way to get into it without straining your body, down. Rotate, open, clap, lift and center. Three more. Two more. One more time. And up. Awesome work. I think the long box is on here. Give me one blue spring before you do so. One blue spring, standard blue. Take that long box on. We're gonna start, we're gonna do some abs and glutes today. So, or abs, yeah, abs and glutes. We're gonna grab our ball. So if you have a ball, go ahead and grab it. Pop your foot bar up to standard. So up two notches here. We're gonna go ahead, sit on your box. Somewhere in between half range here, you're gonna take this ball and put it right above your tailbone. So at that low back here. Take your toes on that foot bar. So you're gonna feel, lift the heels high to the sky. Take your arms behind your head. As you exhale, lower down into that ball. And then as you inhale, pull everything in, keep your heels lifted here. So you wanna keep those heels lifted so to get out of those hip flexors into those low abs, pelvic floor, lower down. Exhale, bring it in. If you're feeling that stopper there, maybe scoot a little bit forward. So keep that collarbone wide. Exhale, pull in, chin to the chest. Inhale, let it go wide. So keep those heels lifted. Almost there, lower down. Exhale, pull in. So just a little bit of a finisher here with these abs and glutes. Keep those heels lifted, keep that collarbone wide and use that breath. We're gonna hold it down, give me five more here. Here's five. Lower down, really breathe into that ball, press the spine into that ball for four. Exhale, hold in three. Hold in two. Give me one more here, lower down. Exhale, lift up, lower down here, hold it, take your arms long. Pulse, press that belly button heavy into the ball. Use that breath for 10. Keep those heels lifted, nice job. Nice wide collarbone, pulse for six. You've got five, hold in four, three, two, one. Take a break, nice job. Take that ball off. We're gonna, or we're gonna stay on that blue spring. We're gonna turn and face the back. You can ditch the ball here, just send it wherever. Turn and face that back. We're gonna grab that right strap and put it over the arch of our foot. So a little bit of side glutes and glute minimus work here. So 
Strap comes over the arch of your right foot. Scoot back on the box so the left knee is underneath the hip. Hands underneath the shoulders here. Find tabletop, nice tall spine. Lift that knee off, flex the foot. Exhale, press out, squeeze. Bend it in. Exhale, press out, squeeze. So to keep your hips still and square, try to give weight to that right side here. Keep that belly button lifted. Exhale, press, shift your weight forward. So whole body is working here. Chest and shoulders are stabilizing. Your abs are working as well. Squeeze that glute. Want to squeeze that shelf, the part that connects the thigh and the glutes here. Exhale, press. Give me a couple more here. Exhale, press. Hold it out in two. Give me two more. Bend it in, press it out. Bend it in one more time. Press out, hold, squeeze. Point the toes lower and lift. Lower and lift. Maybe I don't even see it. You're just squeezing that thigh. Down and up for 10. We're going halfway in, all the way out. Pulse in six, five. Halfway in in four, three, two. Halfway in, all the way press out, squeeze, lift. Halfway in, all the way press out, squeeze, lift. Couple more here, halfway in. Exhale, press out, squeeze, lift. We're gonna hold it in for fire hydrants in five. <sighs> Give me four. Exhale, press out, squeeze, four, three more. Press it out, three, feel that glute burn. <laughs> Two more, press out, squeeze, lift. One more, press out, squeeze, lift. Now hold the knees in stacked. Come down to that left forearm. Open up your hips towards the street. So you have external rotation here. You're gonna press out, squeeze that glute. Bend the right knee into the right elbow. Draw it in, keep that foot flex. Exhale, press out. Inhale, bring it in. So you can alternate the gaze here. Watch that foot go out, watch it come in. Nice job. Exhale, press, inhale, bring it in. You've got five, here's four. Hold it down in three, hold in two. Give me one more, bend it in, hold it out. We're gonna draw circles up and around. Tiny little circles for 10. Reverse it, every circle we do, we reverse. Reverse in five, four, three, two. Reverse that circle up and around the other direction. You've got 10. Nine, you're gonna pulse up and down to finish this one. In five, four, three, two, pulse it up an inch, down an inch for 10, feel that outer thigh for eight. You're gonna come down here in six, take a little stretch, squeeze for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in, <laughs> nice job. Take that strap off, great job. To finish, to break this leg up here, we're gonna take these straps over our thighs for a reverse knee strap crunch on that blue spring to break up these legs. So lower abs coming into play again. Take these straps over your knees like a pair of pants. Still on that one blue. Now scoot forward before you lay down because you want to be supported here. Scoot forward, lay down, low back is supported. Hands behind the head. Bring your legs to tabletop. You want tension in these straps. Keep that collarbone wide. Exhale, bring the knees to the mirror. Inhale, now lower down. Exhale, send that air out. Keep that collarbone wide. Draw the knees into the chest. Take it out, nice job. Lower down, exhale, lift, great job. Give me a couple more here. <sighs> Send that air out, feel that belly shake, pressing the top of the tailbone heavy into that box. Give me five, here's four. Hold in three, hold in two. One more, lower down, exhale, hold. Extend the legs, low abs, down an inch, up an inch, point those toes, down an inch, up an inch, great job. Down and up, 10 seconds here, you've got nine. We're gonna take the hands up to the feet in five, pulsing to finish in four, three, two, hold it long, extend the arms and pulse, 10. Reach nine, eight, exhale, let that air out, seven. Widen that collarbone, breathe, here's five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, bring that in. Whew. We're gonna go into that left leg here, feeling that heat for sure. So hang up your right strap. Come back to your hands and knees. Put the strap over the arch of your left foot. Strap comes over the arch of your left, scoot those knees back, going back into that, that press out. So bend in, exhale, flex the foot, press out. Make sure that right knee is underneath the hip, press it out, bend it in. So flexing the foot, we wanna press from the glute here. So try and turn off that foot and press from that glute and hamstring, squeezing it, shifting your weight forward, taking the weight out of the right wrist here and putting it into the left, squeeze. Got a couple more here, then we're gonna send it out long. Think about that glute minimus here, think about that hamstring. 
Think about your core pulling up and in, holding that flat back. We're gonna hold it out in five. Four more here, press out four. Hold in three, two more, two. Press it out, hold on one, point the toes, lift and lower. Again, maybe I don't even see it. Don't even think about just moving that strap. You're just pulsing from that glute for 10. Halfway in, all the way out, pulse. In five, four, three, two, halfway in. Exhale out, hold, pulse, down and up. Halfway in, exhale, press out, hold, pulse. Halfway in, exhale, press out, hold, pulse. We'll go into that external rotation after this, coming down into that right forearm. Exhale, press out. You've got 10. Exhale, press out, squeeze. Eight seconds left. Coming down to that right forearm in five, four, three, two, give me one more, big press out, hold, squeeze. Now come down to your right forearm, open up your hips. You're gonna bend and draw the knee to the elbow and press it out, keeping that foot flexed. Left knee to left elbow, take a gaze at your thigh as it comes in, press it out. So you have external rotation of those hips opening up, feeling the outer thigh. Bend in, exhale, press out, great job. Give me five more here, here's five. Four, three, two. Give me one more, we hold it out for circles. Press out on one, hold it. Draw circles, same size as the other side for 10. Reversing that circle in eight. Up and around, squeezing, pointing those toes. Reverse the circle in four, three, two. Reverse that circle up and around for 10. Pulsing to finish in eight. Almost there, press out of your forearm, lengthen that collarbone, pulse to finish in four, three, two, down an inch, up an inch, here's 10, nine, eight, this is how we finish, strap away, we take a child's pose in six, squeeze that outer thigh, five, four, three, two, and one, bring it down, great job, child's pose, ooh, take a moment, let those arms go long, open the knees underneath you, and just breathe. <laughs> that was awesome. What a treat to have Raina teach. Let's stay on the blue spring and let's grab both straps into the smaller loops. Four fingers in, thumb is out. Sit on the box. Legs are hanging over the box. And we're just going to do a big scoop with the arms to lift. Exhale and then inhale, bring it back down. Exhale, scoop and lift. Inhale, lower. We're gonna do eight more like that. As the arms go up, the shoulder heads roll back and down. Seven more, we go up, down. Six more, keeping the spine long. Keeping those lats engaged in a soft bend of the elbow the whole time. Last four. Have you ever done horseback before? Three, okay, we're gonna do, we're setting up for horseback. Two more, I'll demonstrate. One more time, up. Down, so exhale, you push into the hands, you point the toes, you lift up onto the inner thighs. Inhale, you lower back down. So exhale, you reach and lift and point, and then inhale, lower. Exhale, reach, lift, point, inhale, lower. Three more, you can place pads on the box if you need. If it's too much on the inner thighs, last two, go up and down. One more time, go up, hold it, five, four, three, Two and one, drop it down. Come onto your knees. Sit up high on both knees. Be really careful here that you don't fall forward. So let's grab the bigger loops. Squeeze your butt, engage your core, bend the elbows wide. Exhale, we reach. Inhale, resist. Exhale, reach. Inhale, resist. Squeeze your butt, engage your core. Tuck your tail, lift the heart. Shoulder presses up and down. If you're scared to be high onto the knees, then sit your booty onto the heels. Reach, resist. Wide elbow, squeeze into the side body. We're here for three, two, and hold it up on one, bend the elbows, extend the arms, tricep overhead extensions. Inhale, bend, exhale, lengthen. We're here for eight, seven, Press, six, up, five more. Last four, three, two, 
One more time, circle the arms out and around and down. Drop the straps, lie onto your belly, chest off the box, legs are up, toes are pointed. Exhale, push your arms straight out. Inhale with two straight arms, lift the chest, bring the carriage in. Inhale, lower back down. Exhale, engage your lats, lift the heart, drop the shoulders. Inhale, lower back down. Getting that deep stretch throughout our abdominal wall as we come up. And make sure to keep the low back long, the glutes active to support the low back. Two more. Exhale, we lift. Inhale, lower. One more time. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Now bend the elbows wide. We're gonna jump out with the arms, tap the butt, and then come back in and catch. Jump out, tap your booty, catch it. We have eight more. Jump, tap, catch. Seven more, exhale. Inhale, good work. We're here for six. Let's get that heart rate up a little bit. Work the arms. Working our whole body to stabilize. Five, four, three, two, and done. Good work. Step it off. Take the box off. And let's set up for feet and straps. So we want to be Pilates without finishing with a new stretch. So one red, one blue spring will go onto your reformer. Lie onto your back. Take both of the straps, place them onto your feet. Extend the legs straight up toward the ceiling. Exhale, point the toes, lower the legs. Inhale, flex the ankles and lift. So we're just breathing into this nice stretch for the hamstrings and calves, getting that spinal decompression as you anchor your tail heavy into the mat, feeling that oppositional stretch as you stamp your feet up toward the ceiling. Close the ribs, focus on your breathing. Pretty much worked every muscle in our body today. So this is a nice way to cool down and finish our workout. Three. Two, one more time, go down. Now keep your toes pointed and just big circles with the legs. Inhale, lift, exhale, circle around and back to center. Inhale, lift, exhale, circle. You can make the circles little or big, whatever feels good for your body. Just make sure you're keeping that same continuous speed the whole time. Keep your core tight. Try to take the tension out of the shoulders and neck. Three more. A big hip opener, last two. One more time and let's reverse the circles. Take it the other way, down, around. Big circle up. Exhale and inhale, breathing. Let everything go. Melt into the stretch. Just for three, two, one more time. Lower down halfway to a V position, bend the knees into the chest. Setting up for short spine, the main thing to remember with short spine is always look straight up so you don't strain your neck. Inhale, lengthen the legs straight out. On the exhale, hinge at the hips, feet over the face. Use your abdominals, lift the hips up high. Bend the knees wide to the shoulder blocks, fluidly roll down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, you push it out. Exhale, feet over the face, hinge at the hips. Use your core to lift way up. Bend the knees slowly, keeping tension. Articulate upper back, mid back, low back. Connects. we have three more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, feet up. Use your abs, lift the hips way up. Bend the knees and fluidly roll down through the spine. Stretch two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, feet over the face. Use your abs, lift the hips. Bend the knees, roll it down one more time. Inhale, lengthen. Feet come up, use your abs, lift the hips way up. Bend the knees, roll all the way back down. Take the straps off the feet. Step off to the right side of the reformer. Adjust the weight so that you have one blue spring on. Finishing the psoas stretch. Bend the right leg, stretch the left leg back to a deep lunge. Chin up, heart lifted, shoulders down. Reach your left arm back, get a little twist, open the chest. Back to center, both hands on. Right hand reaches up, stretching the side body. 
back to center, both hands on, lift back up, straighten the right leg, lift the toes, take it into splits. Lift back up, move to the forearms, clasp your hands, take it back, tuck your chin, look at the floor, melt into that stretch. One more big inhale. And exhale, come on up, make your way to the other side and we'll go to that same sequence again. So bend the left leg, push that right leg back to a deep lunge. Reach your right arm back, open the chest, get a twist. Back to center, both hands on. Left arm reaches up, stretch the side waist. Back to center, both hands on. Lift up, straighten the left leg, lift the toes, take it into splits, hold it. Come back up, move it to your forearms, clasp the hands, take it back, tuck your chin, hold it here and just breathe. One more big inhale, exhale, come on up, let's finish with the roll down together. So stand with the feet at about hip distance. Big inhale, reach the arms up, gather energy. Exhale, hands to the hips, chin to the chest, forehead to the pelvis, scoop into the belly. Roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Feeling the weight of the head, neck, and shoulders, decompress and stretch the spine. At the bottom, circle your arms in opposite directions in front of the toes, letting those arms stretch out of the shoulders. Now reverse the circles, take it the other way. Let your head hang heavy. Stop the circle, straighten the legs, tilt from the tail, scoop into the belly. Roll up as slowly as you can until the shoulders come down. Chin and head up last. Awesome work. Thank you so much for joining us today. What a treat to have Reina teach as well. Um, you guys did great. Have a beautiful day and we'll see you soon.